Rahul Gandhi just got schooled by Mayawati. Behan Mayawati has destroyed the Congress and its Kiddish leaders for their extravagant claims. Here is how. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Apoorva, and I'm here to tell you about how Mayawati shredded Rahul Gandhi on his scripted speech at a book launch. So, let's begin. Rahul Gandhi is that man-child who throws tantrums if he does not get the toy he desires. For example, in the recently conducted Uttar Pradesh Assembly elections, this over-aged prince desired a pre-poll alliance with Mayawati's Bhujan Samaj Party. In fact, according to him, the Congress even offered to make Mayawati the alliance's chief ministerial candidate. However, he accused Mayawati of not even responding to the offer made by Congress, leave alone discussing it. Now, Mayawati may have turned out to be a loser in these elections, but she is an astute politician who knows what is best for her party. Mayawati has rubbished Rahul Gandhi's claims and attacked the Congress party and its Kiddish leaders in a rather savage way. Mayawati said what Rahul Gandhi has said is absolutely false, while adding the defeat in UP elections should be the focus now rather than these petty things. The former Uttar Pradesh chief minister said the Congress must think 100 times before making such comments. They have been unable to win from the BJP but just keep taking these pot shots. Congress has done nothing even in power and even out of power. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's comments show his inferior feelings and malevolence towards Dalits and the BSP. The BSP Supremo also said, We are not a party where a leader like Rahul Gandhi forcefully hugs the Prime Minister in Parliament. We aren't a party whose fun is made across the world. The claim of Rahul Gandhi is contradictory to the claim of his sister Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, who said that Congress had decided to contest the UP election alone. Furthermore, Mayawati's refusal to ally with Congress must be seen in the backdrop of Congress's downfall on a national scale. Regional parties were smart enough to realize that hopping on the sinking Congress ship would be suicidal for their existence. The Samajwadi Congress combined was rooted in 2017 by the BJP. If that caste combination did not work, there was there was no way a BSP Congress combined could survive the BJP's onslaught. Mayawati is a shrewd leader who is seeing the bigger picture. She wants the BSP to remain politically relevant in the future. Allying with the Congress would be a short, short way of getting destroyed by mere association. Moreover, in 2020, the six elected MLAs of BSP joined the Congress in Rajasthan. The bitterness of breaking its Rajasthan leaders may have played a big role in the BSP Supremo refusing to share a partnership with the Congress in Uttar Pradesh. Mayawati, you see, is not a fan of the Congress party. Mayawati might even want to ally with the BJP in the long run. Having an alliance with Congress will spill cold water over all such prospects. Mayawati was once a very powerful politician. By virtue of being the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh, she was seen as one of the most important leaders of India. Mayawati has led Uttar Pradesh as chief minister for four times, although a complete tenure was served only from 2007 to 2012. The three previous instances saw her becoming chief minister for short periods of time. Mayawati was once a kingmaker. She heavily influenced the decisions made by central governments in New Delhi. Mayawati always got what she wanted. Today, however, she has been reduced to a political nobody. Mayawati is the old, overworked derby horse that has seemingly reached the end of its career. Mayawati realizes that her career is over and that she must now retire from politics gracefully without having to bear the shame of partnering with the Congress. She also seems keen to ensure that the BSP continues to remain politically relevant even after her. It is for this reason that Behenji is going soft on the BJP and all out against Congress and its entitled brats.